Hey guys, it's Bill from OneHappyDiabetic.com. I hope everybody's having a great day out there today. Today's video is gonna be on American Idol and diabetes. That's right, American Idol and diabetes. And listen, I'm a big American Idol fan. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I'm out of the closet. I, I'm definitely an American Idol fan. And I am a huge fan of a couple contestants this year, but one I really wanted to talk about, and I'll let you guys in on some American Idol, uh, let's say, trivia, kind of how, hmm, my family kind of is related to some contestants. But first things first, I want to talk about Crystal Bowersox, amazing performer and probably the front runner right now for American Idol. She is fantastic. This Janis Joplin uh, folk singer, great on the acoustic guitar. She's probably my favorite contestant going right now. And you know what? She's at a different level than everybody else in the competition and she's at a different blood glucose level too. She's a type 1 diabetic for over 20 years. Um, regiment might be an insulin pump or something like that, but you know what? I don't want to get into the details about her having diabetes. But what I really wanted to talk about was just how amazing it is to have somebody who has a disease that I share and doing so well with it. And I know she had some complications early uh, with her diabetes early on in the competition and you can completely relate to her. Can you imagine how difficult it must be to, to have your blood glucose be stable when she's performing uh, you know, in front of millions of people every week it's just got to be completely draining and i just want to send here sending it sending sending some diabetes love to you crystal i'm sending you some love i'm wishing you health i'm wishing you good blood sugars because i want you to perform at your best and i know you can do it and um i'm just completely excited to have another type 1 diabetic yes i said another type 1 diabetic on american idol the last contestant to have type 1 diabetes on American Idol was Elliot Yamin. Now listen, this dude was amazing, man. He was awesome. Another pumper, another type 1 diabetic, doing what he does best, singing, just an amazing performer. And when he was done with his little American Idol stint, he made it into, I don't know, he made it up there. Probably he was in the top 10 for sure. Um, but you know what? He gave back. He gave back to the diabetes community afterwards and became an advocate and spread and he spread diabetes awareness to millions and millions of people. And that's why I'm excited about Crystal Bauer Socks because there's a potential, there's potential here that she is going to inform people, educate people, and spread awareness of type 1 diabetes. She's already doing it and she doesn't even know it. So I just want to thank her for doing what she does and I really, really, really wish her the best of luck on this competition amazing now listen there's some interconnections with myself and American Idol right now going on right now Katie Stevens who's another hot contestant on American Idol all right she's from Middlebury Connecticut which is right next to Bristol Connecticut where I'm from and last Christmas we saw her sing at the Christmas concert that was performed in Bristol. And who directed the Christmas concert? My stepmother did, okay? My stepmother directed the Christmas concert and said, hey, you got to come and see this girl, Katie Stevens. She is amazing, okay? I posted some footage on my YouTube channel of her singing in that competition. Uh, not competition, but at the Christmas concert. And I'll tell you what, if you think she sounds good on Idol, and I know this week she sang a really good song, you should hear her on my YouTube clip. And I'm not just saying, you know, check out my YouTube clip on her. I'm saying she's an amazing singer. And, you know, like I said, my stepmom was the director of that Christmas show. So we got some connections there. So I'm rooting for her, but I'm rooting for Crystal Bauer Socks too, because you got this diabetic connection and things like that. Now, here's something else that's interesting. Elliot Yamin, I just talked about him, type 1 diabetic. My wife is actually related to him, okay? And not like a close, you know, it's not like he's my brother or like, you know, a first cousin or something like that. But I guess through like Ancestry.com, uh, my step, my uh, mother-in-law was looking things up and ends up they're actually related. You know, they're cousins of cousins or something like that. So Elliot Yamin, if you're out there watching this video, uh, my wife, your relative wants to say hello or something like that. But I joke around with her about the fact that you know, you're related, but really not related. And you know what, guys? 
Um, there's another person who has diabetes on American Idol. Randy Jackson has diabetes, okay? Type 2 diabetic. He's been on the front page of a lot of great uh, diabetes publications. He does uh, work with a lot of charities and helps educate people with diabetes. I think that's another amazing thing. So think about it. It's just, wow, it's just kind of, it's just really interesting the impact that our disease has on just a little show, the little show, a huge show like American Idol. The potential's there. Everybody who's watching this video, you are limitless on your possibilities. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything take away from what you think you can do because you have diabetes. You can do it. It might be harder to manage. It might be more difficult than the average person to get to where you need to be, but that doesn't mean you can't get there without with hard work and uh, you know proper control and all that stuff. So listen, that's my video for today. I want to wish Crystal Bauer socks, you know, some give us some diabetes love, giving you some love, love, spread that love, give it to you. Um, Elliot Yamin, keep doing what you're doing, boy, love it. And uh, Katie, 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 I hope you win. I really do, Crystal. I hope you win too. But Katie, I hope you win. And uh, hey, listen, guys, I'm an Idol fan. And, uh, you know, so you're just going to have to deal with that for the next couple videos. But, hey, listen, hope everybody's having a great day out there. Check out the website, onehappydiabetic.com. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. And remember, you can be a one happy diabetic, too. It's all about your attitude. Take care. Good luck.